Should we sing a song or something? Oh, oh yes, we know yeah. lots of songs. Um, yeah. Let's sing Stairway to Heaven. I love no. that song. No, 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 that's far too long. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Oh. All right, no oh. Stairway, denied. No. All right. Oh, oh, how about Carol of the Bells? Oh, I love uh, Carol of the Bells. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Sing that song. Which song? The one about bells. Oh, the song about bells. We're going to sing the song about bells that no one knows the words to. <gasps> dingy, 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 dong, dong. Ringy, 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 bong, bong. Here we go, singing that song that no one knows the words to. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Once upon a time, a long time ago, in the city of London, England, there lived a man named Ebenezer Scrooge. Now, Mr. Scrooge was a very, very rich man. And everyone in London knew that he was a miser. I'm sorry, what did they call me? That means someone who never likes to share his money. Someone who can't be bothered to help other people. Someone who doesn't really care about anything except himself. M-I-S-E-R, miser. Oh, yes. Why, that's me to a T. Thank you very much. Mr. Scrooge owned his own business, and his most loyal worker was a woman by the name of Roberta Cratchit. Oh, I like her. Yes, it's true. Uh, Mr. Scrooge is grumpy, he's unfair, he's cold-hearted, he's stingy, uh, and faintly he smells like a soiled litter box. But he can be quite generous. Why, last week he gave me three whole minutes for my lunch break. Uh, to be fair, she paid me back for those three minutes. He's great. Now, if there was one thing that Mr. Scrooge couldn't stand at all... Couldn't even be bothered with... It was... Christmas. 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 You know, I don't think he can even say the word. He can't. It's actually quite disgusting when he tries. The uh, crispix. The creep. Now it was Christmas Eve. And Scrooge was visited by the ghost of his old business partner, Jacob Marley. Oh, Jacob Marley, one of the best reggae musicians of all time. Um, <laughs> no, no. What did she say? Jacob Marley, one of the best. No woman, no cry. Mm. Nick. Jacob Marley, Jacob Marley, you know, you, 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 you know, a ghost, a phantasm, oh, a poltergeist, a boo. <laughs> oh, never mind. Just look at me wearing chains, making spooky noises, condemned to wearing white all year round. Marley was always quite the clothes horse. But what does he want with me? It's not too late for you, Ebenezer. You can still turn things around. You just need a little help. Tonight, you will be visited by three spirits. If they can't get through to you, no one can. I'm going to say to him just like that. What do you think? Too much? <laughs> three spirits indeed. <laughs> but it's true. Scrooge was visited by three spirits. First, it was the ghost of Christmas past. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! I don't like her. Then there was the ghost of Christmas present. And we are on a mission. Now, there's things you gotta see, places you gotta go. Now, come on. I don't like him. Finally, there was the ghost of Christmas future. <laughs> then along the way, Scrooge encountered his old friend, Fezziwig. 
Ebenezer, you should! Righteous man, righteous. <laughs> Me casa is you casa, bro. <laughs> yeah. No! Mr. Scrooge encounters his long lost love, Belle. Hello, Ebenezer. <laughs> I mean, no! And of course. Tiny, Tiny Tim! Tim. Oh. I'm sorry, who? Will Ebenezer Scrooge turn his life around? Only one way to find out. Yeah? Yeah! Come see a popcorn hat Christmas carol at Gamut Theatre. And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!